Senator Joe, we do not have the luxury of commissioners to be passionate about one thing. We have to be passionate about all things that affect our citizens, and whether that be crime or whether it be health or whether that be the library system or education. So I tell people a lot of times that everything I, I know about politics I learned in the ninth grade in public school, that for every positive action, there's an equal and negative reaction. And that usually has to do with budgeting. Because whenever we present more funding to one group, it means we either have to take it away from another group or take it away from the property owners in the way of a tax increase. So balance is very, very important. So when we look at this, and, and it's ironic, I only hope that together as commissioners, we can stop kicking these proverbial cans and make some really, really good decisions coming up because we have to make decisions. Things like just tonight in our health department, in our social services department, yes, we're talking about a long-term funding model to continue with our school system. And I do, I really, I've had the pleasure of working with Tim Kinlaw for a number of years and he has always put the school system number one. And we as commissioners always have to put the county as, as ourselves and number one to try to balance everything else. I, I do believe that there's probably more discussion on this and I have no problems with drawing my motion to get there. But before I do that, um, Ms. Council, who I have a great deal of respect for, came on this board in 2000. 2000. I followed up in 2008, eight short years. A person that was born when Commissioner Council came on is now graduating from college. I'm sorry, from, from high school. High school. I have, high school. There's, there's some. <laughs> I, I have, when I started to be a county commissioner, I, I had a daughter who was one month old and she's 10 now. That's right. And we've got to be better. We've got to be better as a county for these young people to stay in our community. And that means that we have to balance and provide services for everybody. And that's not only just human services, but educational services and public safety services. But most important, we have to make decisions, and we have to make decisions that are in the, in the best of everybody as we move forward. Just tonight, as we go into this budget session, we had the largest tax increase in, in at least 20 years last year. And I'm fearful that we may be looking at something very similar again. We have got to be passionate about everything as we move forward. So with that, Mr. Chair, I have no problems withdrawing my motion if Commissioner Booth accepts hit the second being withdrawn also. And his line is up, so Michael. Okay, if you're withdrawing it, then there isn't a motion for me to second. So I'll be glad to do that. Uh, I just, again, this is some of the most detailed work I've seen the finance crowd do. Is there, is there a stone that wasn't looked under yet? I mean, is there doing, like I said, if we're back to two to one, two to one, and I'm not on finance. So, it, you know, except for getting to the figure, I think we can get to the figure. Uh, but is there uh, the, the math and everything else? I just was curious, is there is there something that you didn't look at? Not to my knowledge. I've, okay, all right, well and, then, and uh, then, so there's, okay, so the presentation will be there, ready to go. and. Since this will be the last time that we may see him, depending on whether he comes to the June meeting or not, I got the privilege of working with six superintendents, all the way back from Dr. Jack Britt, and including mm -hmm. Tim Kinlong, he's the best of the six. Thank you, sir. I believe, Commissioner. I be back in June unless they fire me. <laughs> <laughs> Does Charles, Charles have some discussion. Charles. Commissioner Evans? Uh, I'm, I'm listening. I'm good. I'm good. You oh. good? I put your light on. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, be before I, th I think several things. Number one, that I haven't discussed, and I guess we can clean this up when we get back together. Our, our, we are talking. <laughs> we are talking about an agreement, uh, probably longer than one. Longer. Okay, as, as uh, an agreement that we can reach as, as long as we can reach that agreement. And number two, I haven't heard anybody say anything about getting any less money. Okay. Uh, we're, we're just trying to agree at what figure we're going to get as we move forward. So, so we've, we've withdrawn uh, the motions 
uh, Dr. Council, would you restate your motion again, and then we'll vote. I forgot it. Send it back to finance. Right. Send, it back. Um, Send it back to finance. Yeah. I, please allow me to say that among the seven of us, if we all are stuck, then we're not communicating and we're not collaborating. <clears throat> and I think that we listen to each other and we can come to consensus. I think we can. Therefore, my motion is to send this issue back to the Finance Committee, and I'll take the gavel and go to the committee. Okay, that's the motion. I'll renew my second. Okay, uh, we have any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion, raise your hand. Okay, that's unanimous, Mr. Madam Evans. Clerk, and we will see Thank about you about so yes. much. Okay. Yes, that yes. is unanimous. That's unanimous. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank you guys. that's where we are. Okay. All right. At this point in time, we're at nominations, and we have no nominations for this meeting. Number six, appointments. <coughs> we have no appointments for this meeting. Number seven is closed session. I'll make the motion that we go into attorney-client uh, closed session pursuant to NCGS 143-8, 318-11A3. A motion to go into closed session. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Okay, we're in closed session. Commissioner Evans, yeah. Yeah.
Oh, what's your name? Amanda. How you doing, Miss Amanda? 